Hey, I'll try and make this one pretty brief. Uh, USA Custom Shop Charvel. Go through the specs really quickly, even though I've done it in other videos. Hardtail, JB, SDS1, SDS1, ash body, uh, maple neck, rosewood board, fret wire in between Gibson and medium jumbo, USA Custom Shop Charvel. Uh, this is the Jakey e. Lee signature model. Uh, he made this guitar pretty famous because it used to be uh, a Fender Stratocaster with a hard tail and then his roommate chopped the headstock, uh, painted it white with lavender and put a Charvel logo on it. So there you go. Uh, that's the story on the original Jake. So the previous videos that I did on this, I went through some of the history and the dirty tones. We're running a Mesa Boogie into a 112 uh, with a Line 6 HX effects in the uh, effects loop of the unit. And if you listen. Very little delay, very little chorus, very little bit of reverb. Not much uh, going on there. Just a real nice, pleasing, clean sound that you could use with a lot of different uh, tonalities. So what I'd like to do is take you through the pickups on this. Um, so this would be the bridge position only. And um, you can get a real nice, uh, and I'm using a crystal clear tone on this, and I'm gonna hit it really hard. We'll see if we can get any breakup on this. Uh, now granted, I am playing it house volume. I'm not playing it band volume. Uh, tonality will be different. And in addition, I am playing an EQ that suits the house, not an EQ that suits the front of house and a sound mix. It's very important that you know the difference between the two of those as a guitar player because what sounds good in the bedroom does not sound good um, in real life. It's kind of like watching a porn. That shit always doesn't work in real life. So uh, here we go. <laughs> See here, I'm using a tube amp. I'm hitting hard. And uh, we're not getting any breakup out of that JB, which is really nice because say you're playing a song and uh, you need to get into it, you know. And you mess up and you didn't go to another position. You don't have that breakup. Um, so here's what we'll do. We'll just go. Don't hold me missing a couple of those notes against me. It's not my fault. It's somebody else's fault. So, um, and forgive me, I kind of just threw that together on the fly. Uh, I don't rehearse these videos. I just, I want it to be kind of organic. Just me, you and I, we're shooting the shit, you know, we're, we're at the music store. We're talking about gear we love. Um, you go to a music store where an employee actually knows what they're talking about. Um, you get to hear about it, you know, let's think of it like that. So what I really like about this neck position on this is you get a lot of bite out of the bass strings and you get all that fatness out of the treble strings and that's due to the reverse slant of these pickups so if we were to play like a I, 
I think it just sounds really well, uh, really good. And uh, we'll do the same thing-ish with the bridge pickup, so. <laughs> You know, that different tonality. There's and actually, this is one of my favorite positions the in between because, and I'm not sure of this, someone can check me on this. I believe it's out of phase, is the way they get that. That's it. That's through the positions. A um, couple different sounds, a couple of different uh, crappy licks, and uh, just to give you an idea. But really, what it is, it's a super strat with a super fast neck, a great fret job, and a super versatile humbucker in the bridge, and two very good sounding single coils in the middle and the neck. I can't say enough good things about this. I can say a lot of bad things, but given everything that I went through to get it, I would buy it again right now. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or just message me. Uh, I'm pretty easy to find. I'll be happy to take any suggestions, critique, comment, whatever you need. Uh, and if you have any questions on the particular gear I use, I'll be happy to answer any of it and uh, give tutorials on what I know. And uh, I'll be happy to learn anything you guys know. So, all right, you guys take care. Next time.